and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and I'm going to be sharing with you a haul video. Normally I'm kind of constantly shopping and picking up bits and pieces all around. I'm always on the hunt for new craft supplies so I never really have enough to keep as a haul but this time I've made a point of saving everything and keeping it all together so I can share it with you. Don't mind my crazy hand gestures right here. I recorded this all using my camera, but the audio was kind of crappy in some spaces and I had to whisper at some points because my son was sleeping. So I decided to actually just take off the, all the audio and voice over it. So I have a haul from Dollar Tree, Dollarama, and eBay. And I'll just be sharing with you everything that I got. And I have all the prices for everything, so I will be sharing those as well. So get right into it and I'll show you everything that I've got. So to start I'm going to show you what I got at Dollarama. It's a dollar store we have in Canada. Way back when I was a lot younger everything actually used to be a dollar. Now they've kind of broadened it up and they've got two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, sometimes even five dollar things. So I'll be sharing with you the prices that I paid for everything and let's just get into it. So the first thing I got was this. It's called Sparkling Stickers. It's five sheets of sticker paper I guess for $1.25 at Dollarama. It is super super shiny. I love this color. It came in a few different colors. Purples, pinks, um, some blues but I really love this mint color so it's kind of hard to see but there is a glitter on it and I'm actually going to open it up and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. It's a little bit thinner than like Cricut vinyl but I just love the color and I loved how shiny it was and for $1.25 for five sheets um, I couldn't pass up trying it, even if I don't necessarily like using it for actual um, vinyl projects, because I don't know how well this is going to stick. I definitely think I could use it to make some stickers or um, some elements to put onto cards or scrapbooks or that kind of stuff. So for $1.25, I'm super excited about that, and I'm probably going to go and get some more colors because I love this stuff so, so much. Step in keeping with the glitter vinyl type products. I got this adhesive film in a roll. I'll see if I can open here, show you a little bit. They got it in silver. It seems like it's the same thickness as the previous stuff. And the glitter is like a low pile glitter. It's not a chunky glitter and it doesn't come off on my hands, which is super awesome. Again, I wanted to try this with my Cricut. This was called an adhesive film. It came in metallic, it came in a gold glitter and a silver glitter, as well as a gold and a silver chrome. I might go back and get the other colors because I'm really liking this, but $3 is what I paid for it, and it's 17 inches by 39 inches, so I think there's a little bit more of it than the previous sticker paper, but I really want to try this with my Cricut and see how that works out. And if it works out well, I'm definitely going to be getting some more of them because I can't go wrong with this. Next up, I have got a paper pad, again from Dollarama. This was $1.25. We'll just flip through. They didn't have any other ones. They had a bunch of this color, but no other color combinations or anything, but I was really excited to pick this up. It came with six different patterns for $1.25 and 36 sheets total, so six sheets of each. Can't go really wrong with that. I love to use these as like card backings and Anytime I need just a little bit of pattern paper, I kind of like using these. So and I can always find them at the dollar store, and I really love them. Lastly, from Dollarama, I got these foil flakes. Again, for $1.25, I got the gold ones. They had gold and silver, and I wish I had bought both. That always seems to be the case. I always wish I had gotten more. Oh, there's a little one. I'm going to keep them closed, but this is what they look like basically like a knockoff gold foil. So 1.9 grams of it, I couldn't go wrong. Up, I'm going to be sharing what I got at Dollar Tree. Typically I prefer Dollar Tree because everything is guaranteed to be $1.25 and I'm not disappointed finding something I really love that's $5 and it's more of a dollar store for me, but sometimes they do have less stuff. Anyways, first thing I got was this gold paper strips. It's like a cardstock, but it's this lovely chrome gold. I have no idea what I'm going to do with these, um, but you get 32 strips, and I really like these. Even if I just can make some accents or cut out some embellishments with this, I really, really like those. So and those were $1.25. Like I said, everything's $1.25. 
and I don't know, it was gold themed day at dollar stores for me, but I also got these gold alphabet letters. It comes with 64 letters for $1.25. The back has some example banners you could make with them, which I thought was a really cute idea. Um, I have no idea again what I'm going to do with these, but $1.25, I couldn't pass them up. Seems to be a theme. Next, I'm just trying to dig them all out. I think this is the last thing that I got at Dollar Tree, except for one thing that I'm going to show you at the very end. And I always love stocking up on washi tape. I very rarely use it um, because I don't want to waste it because I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm a little crazy, but this came as one pack of seven thin washi tapes. And I really love these for decorating cards or making little accents or adding to envelopes or I don't know, taping things closed. I don't know. So they've got bumblebee pattern. I got the pineapple pattern. Again, this was all one package. So I got unicorns with wish, yellow. Then I got purple, pink, and teal, all as one pack for a dollar twenty-five. Bunch of little colors. There's not a ton of it, but it was super cheap and super super cute. So next, I've actually rediscovered my love for eBay. I used to buy craft supplies on eBay all the time, and I just loved it. You can get stuff for super, super, super cheap, um, especially if you're using the auction function. Um, it takes a little bit more time and it takes forever to get there sometimes, but it's so worth it. So one thing I do really like to get is ribbon and I'll put it up here somewhere, the pricing of each of these and most of the ribbon or all of the ribbon, sorry, I got in auction. So I got it for super cheap. But the first one I got here is this green lace ribbon. This one I will mention, they have a lot of the same ribbons in like every color imaginable, which I think is super awesome. You get 10 yards of it for the mo most part if they sell it in 10 yard increments, which is awesome. And it's super, super colorful and super cute to use for cards. And I never wrap anything with them, but I use them for cards, which maybe is crazy, but it's super cheap and I love the variety. This is the next one I got. It's like this wine colored, maroony red color. This one's a little bit stretchy, which I'm not a fan of, but I'm just going to be putting it on a card. So I thought this one was super pretty. We added to a nice, elegant card and just to jazz it up. Just kind of as a background element, I don't know, add some texture. It makes it a little bit fancier, in my opinion. The next one I got was this gray one. Again, this is another pattern of the lace that you can find in a million different colors. They come in every color possible. But I was in the auction function, so I was just kind of getting whatever I saw came up. And this one's a nice gray color. I thought that was kind of unique. I don't often see gray lace ribbons, so I was definitely sure to get that one. And again, see the green one here and the gray one I'm just showing you again. These two are patterns that um, come in multiple colors. And this is the same as the green one. And I actually got it in this kind of like khaki tan brown kind of a color um, but this one again super cute be really really nice for a card got 10 yards of it for really really cheap I, again I am adding the prices here in the corner but um, everything was less than a dollar you just get it on auction shipping is free shipping takes a little bit longer but I'm getting it for so cheap I do not mind waiting next thing I got was kind of not a card making thing but I will be using for cards are these Tibetan silver charms. Whether they're actually Tibetan silver or not, I have no idea, but I won't be using them for jewelry, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, I got 10 of these ones, again, in auction for super, super cheap. Price will be up in the corner there. These are just a little bird on a hoop with some flowers. These, I always love to use little charms on cards as like an embellishment or something just to decorate it up a little bit, add some texture, add some different elements to it, kind of like a multimedia card. And I got a whole bunch of these, but and a whole bunch more ribbons, but I'm actually waiting for those to come in. I had I couldn't keep looking at this box of stuff. I just wanted to break into it, so I needed to do the haul video today. And the next one I got was actually 10 pieces of these little corn charms, which I just thought were so cute. These would be great for like an autumn card or maybe something with food. I'm not sure, but I really, really like these ones. So and again, I am waiting for a whole bunch more charms and ribbon to come from eBay. So there will definitely be another haul video of eBay craft supplies. But again, I wanted to film this now so that I can bust in and use all of these. 
The next thing I went a little wild on was embossing folders. I don't have any of these, so these are my first embossing folders, and I was really excited to see so many different patterns for so, so cheap. First one was this maple leaf pattern. I live in Canada, so I'm always down for anything maple leaf, and I think this would be great for the fall. The next one I got was this swirly pattern, and this one I thought was super pretty. Again, you can kind of tell it's a little bit disfigured, like it doesn't line right up on the edge, but really I'm okay with it. I just, all I have to do is cut the paper down a little bit smaller, and you will never even notice it. The inside is totally fine. Again, at the top, there's a little bit of an ink bleed here, but again, that's totally cosmetic. And for the price that I got this, I'm not going to complain about what the outside looks like. It does its job. It works. It's an embossing folder and the pattern is super cute. It'd be great for a nice like elegant card or a wedding card or a something like that. I'm very excited to use it. The last one I got, this is the only one I didn't get in auction, but I loved the pattern so, so much. And I had so many ideas that I went ahead and paid full price, which was not even that bad a deal. So I don't even mind paying full price for it. And I'm so excited that this one came in one of the first shipments I got from eBay. So I just love it. The little gears that'd be super cute for like a Father's Day card or a men's themed card. And the last one I got was these gems or diamonds or jewels. I'm not really sure what to call it, but this one was super, super cute as well. I really liked it. I think it'd be really nice as like the backing of like an engagement card. And then the top pieces of card stuff can have some ring pieces or die cuts I'm not sure but I thought that would be super cute now the next thing I'm going to share with you is from eBay but it's actually kind of a fail I bought it to try and make sort of an electronic card with some other items that I'm waiting on getting and I could have gotten this in the garden center here but it was so much cheaper on eBay I was tempted I shouldn't have been and I should have looked at the listing closer but I'll show you what I got I got copper tape I needed it to sort of run electrical wiring down in the back of card and from all for all intents and purposes this actually does look like copper tape when you first look at it I love the diameter I really wanted the thinner stuff and I thought this was gonna be perfect it was cheap and I thought it was gonna work perfectly so I get it and I went to unwrap it and I thought it looked a little bit strange so I started to unwrap it here. I'm just going to try and find the end, but um, in the meantime, I'm going to tell you that it is not what it seems. If you are going to buy copper tape on eBay, be sure that you look at the listing very, very closely. And I didn't actually notice it in the picture until after I opened it, realized it was the wrong thing, and actually went to go and file a dispute about getting the wrong thing. The listing, I'll maybe add it on the screen here, but I'll show you exactly what it said, but this is what I got. It is basically clear yellow, really thin scotch tape. There is no magnetic quality about it. It is not at all copper tape. It's not even copper colored when you pull it out. And I thought maybe it was just the initial layer on it was copper tape. So I pulled out a whole bunch already and it is not copper tape underneath there. The whole roll is this see-through yellow scotch tape. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this. I went back and actually looked at the listing. It just rips right off, but I did look at the listing and the listing has a tiny piece peeled out and it looks clear in the picture. I didn't examine the picture close enough, I guess. However, there is nothing in the listing to show that it is not actual copper tape. It says metal, single-sided, copper, tape and that is not what I got so I now need to try and find it in store however garden centers are kind of winding down around here preparing for the fall so I'm hoping I can find it in store I'm kind of upset with myself that I got this and it was wrong but every once in a while we have an eBay dud so I guess I can't be too upset and I hopefully can find it in store so I can get those electronic cards out so here you can see my order date up at the top there, June 2nd. So seemingly, I mean, I got this, I want to say June 20th. So I've had it for a long time. In any case, it says 30 meters, single side, conductive copper foil tape, strip adhesive resist tape. Now I did when I bought it, I had no idea what that resist tape meant, but it said conductive, it said copper, and it said foil. In my mind, that led me to believe that this would be copper tape. 
And then in the actual item description here, it says conductive copper foil tape there as the model. And last one here, maybe I'm being a little bit bitter about it, but this is the description from when you scroll down on an eBay item. It says type tape. Tape type is electrical tape. In no way, shape, or form would this actually be electrical tape. The temperature tolerance says negative 10 to 120 degrees. Whether that's Celsius or Fahrenheit, there's no way this tape would last. The width, I chose the three because I wanted the thinnest one. The length, 30 meters. Those two things might be totally accurate. But there is no way that this is an electrical tape with any form of temperature tolerance, nor is it copper. Anyways, just basically a word of caution for anyone who might be purchasing copper tape. Don't do it on eBay or at least confirm with them that this is not what you're going to receive. I might contact eBay and just, I don't know, I know I accidentally included the ladies, the seller's name on that first screen. This is by no means to rag on them specifically. There's, I looked afterwards, there's probably over a hundred listings for this exact same thing. The pictures are exactly the same. The descriptions are exactly the same. So I, I have no doubt she is not the only one who is maybe selling this or there's something that's lost in translation. In any case, be very, very cautious when purchasing copper tape online. I only spent 99 cents Canadian, so really it's not that big of a deal to me, but I would hate for someone else to fall into the same impression that I did. Anyways, back to the video. So the last thing that I bought, this is again at Dollar Tree, and I mentioned it a little bit earlier, um, but that's not really a crafty item. It's more like a organizational item. I saw these on DollarTree.com and I fell in love with the pattern and I was so, so, so excited about it. So I did rush out and prompted this whole shopping trip just to look for these and these, I love them. I was so happy that they had them in our Dollar Trees in Canada. They are just a cardboard magazine holder and I'm actually in the process of redoing my craft room closet and reorganizing everything and I've got a whole bunch of papers and pieces of artwork that need to be organized and are just a mess and these are going to do the job perfectly. I love this mint color, I love the pink flowers, it's kind of vintagey, it matches perfectly with my craft room and I am so excited I found these. They only had six of them but I bought all six and I'm hoping that when I go back they'll have a few more in stock. They were just kind of putting them out when I was there, so I'm hoping they get some more. They had some other ones in different patterns that were also super cute, but because this one matched so well, I just couldn't pass it up. I also saw on DollarTree.com that they have a binder, a three ring binder that has this pattern on it as well, and I am very eagerly looking for that. I, there's a few things that I have organized, like some cling stamps and some stickers, in binders right now that I would love to have in matching binders. I've always been so jealous of people who have craft rooms with everything that kind of coordinates and matches and I always seem to buy like one or two of these things when I find them and by the time I realize I need a lot more or want to organize the whole room with that, they're gone and the season's over, etc. So I am making a point of trying to get whatever I can in this pattern to organize my craft room before they stop stocking it. Anyways, that is my craft haul today. It's kind of big, kind of not. It's all kind of cheapy stuff, but all the stuff that I'm definitely going to use and I'm so happy to have in my collection or to organize my stuff with. If you liked this video, you want to see more hauls, DIYs, Cricut tutorials, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. Thanks again so much. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.